for March 17th we have Staying close to God through constant communication, we receive a continual supply of strength to walk victoriously. So apparently you can talk to God anytime you want to. Even though in the Old Testament that wasn't the case, but I guess this is one of the many blessings that Jesus has bestowed upon us, is the ability to talk to God all the time. Because, you know, he really cares about our small little meaningless problems. Father, you tell us in your word that you have not spoken in secret. From somewhere in the land of darkness, you have not said to Jacob's descendants, Seek me in vain. You, Lord, speak the truth. You declare what is right. Now, obviously, the reason why we say he speaks what is true is because he says in verse 19 of Isaiah 45, I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, Seek you me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right, <laughs> even when they're wrong. Obviously, Isaiah is speaking for God. He's claiming that God would say everything that God says is correct. Your Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, will guide me into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears from you. John sixteen thirteen. Now, the reason why this uh, Beth Moore says uh, Holy Spirit and Spirit of Truth is because the scripture doesn't say Holy Spirit. That's not a term that's in this part of the book. John sixteen thirteen. Howbeit when he, the Spirit of Truth, is come, he will guide you uh, into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever... He shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you the things to come. So the Holy Spirit is a man. <laughs> he's a man spirit. He. Not only that, but apparently, he's not only is he one with Jesus and God, but he's also separate from Jesus and one God. And God. So it's three persons in one, and one in three. Which, of course, makes total sense. And as the Holy Spirit who dwells within me searches and pinpoints areas of deception in my life, give me sound discernment to understand as he guides me into all truth. Thank you, faithful Father. I'm not sure why you couldn't just tell me, but I guess since the Holy Spirit is you, it must make sense.